Harris. Just so tragic. But I just went and got some things that Emily didn't have, and I'm just gonna use her makeup. We're at Six Flags. <laughs> okay, you guys, we just got to Whitewater. <laughs> Valley Fair in Shakopee, Minnesota. <laughs> it is 8 o'clock in the morning at home, and we still have not slept. We're so tired. But. We're at the Eiffel Tower. We're kind of just like going around seeing everything. I think we're gonna go hit some shops next. I wanna do some shopping while we're here. We're only here for a short amount of time, like I told you, but it's such a beautiful day out. There's like a little breeze. It's not super cold um, or super hot. It's like perfect temperature. My hair is like bothering me so bad because I need hairspray. You guys, just walk around with buckets of wine and you can buy like a bottle of wine. Bonjour. <laughs> you can buy a bottle of wine and they have like cups and you can just sit here and have some wine and relax. What's up with the lighting? Aaron's trying to get a perfect TikTok. I'm trying to get a good picture, but the lighting is just not lighting. <laughs> we have it's walked. It's literally in here. Oh, it's at the Westin or the Ritz? The, the Ritz. Ritz. The Ritz. Okay, we're heading to the Ritz to go to Hemingway Bar, which opens at five. Apparently, it's hard to get into, so we're rushing we're there. In. We're still getting in. <laughs> it's been a full day. I'm so shocked that we windy right now. This oh is like the prettiest little... My gosh. Look at that. Look at us in Paris. Yeah, it's stunning. That was so sad. Tell them where we're going. Church. <laughs> so we are going, we just left the bar. So fun, I'm so glad we went and had the best like atmosphere and the drinks were so good. I got the, well Emily, Aaron, and me all got the, what was it, serendipity? The serendipity. It was champagne. Apple juice and champagne, it was $35. Yeah, but it was good. I will say the drinks are expensive. And there I have was, one drink. I feel drunk. There was so you much do? mint in yeah, it. Yeah, I do. do it felt like it? Shrek Swamp. Oh. It felt like Shrek Swamp. If anything, Matt should be the drunk one because his drink was yeah. strong. Ours Matt ordered strong. a drink. Matt ordered a drink that was raspberry martini. No, raspberry vodka. It was a, a raspberry soaked in, in, in the, vodka. Yeah, in the description it literally said, um, vodka infused for three months in raspberry whatever. And then it, it said at the end, straight vodka. And it said if you haven't drank martinis before, this isn't your time to try it because it's so strong and it's Did you like vodka. it, Matt? We're gonna go see the Eiffel Tower shimmer. <laughs> Must believe I'm still the jewel. jewel. When I'm walking. <laughs> We're heading back to the room. I think a few people are gonna grab jackets. And drinks. It's a little chilly. We got we just stopped at a little market, got some champagne. We're gonna go see the Eiffel Tower at night. I'm watch so it exhausted. We've been up for 40 hours. Wait, have Wait, we? That was, that no. Like 28. 30 hours. something by now. 30. 30 something by now. We've been up for 30 hours. Oh, look how pretty this is. Same one. <laughs> oh, yeah. Well, in my case, but this one I have. It's so funny how they say cow milk. How they say cow milk. Yeah. Like, so it's just like so. R. In Paris. 
Last day in Paris, we leave at five. What is that fried egg? Fried egg potato chips. Yeah, they have weird stuff here. Black truffle. Oh, that's ham. Iberian. Fried egg potato chips. treat and it's really cute. I'm excited about it. At the airport, lunch was so yummy. Julie and Hunter actually recommended it to us. They said it was one of their favorite places to have lunch in Paris. So we had that, walked around, did some shopping, and now we're at the airport and we are catching a flight, um, like an eight o'clock flight to Barcelona, Spain. And we'll be there for three days. So here we go. <laughs> Zoom it. Oh, I can't zoom it. What do they do there? Naughty. <laughs> okay, this is the bar we're going into. Rasputaz. And we've been only waiting in line for about. We've only 30 been waiting for literally 45 minutes. <laughs> Come here. Where are we? Rasmataz. <laughs> okay, if you guys ever come to Barcelona, let me tell you something. You need to come to Rasmataz and you need to shove your way to the front. Shove your way to the front and make a move on a payment across a hot dog yep, and churro place. Right. Thank God. What time I'm is it? Like four in the Good morning, you guys. It's the next morning. Well, it's actually like lunchtime. We slept till noon. We went to bed at five in the morning. By the time we got home, wouldn't you say? Mm -hmm. Like 4.30. After we got mugged. Come on, I have to tell you guys the story. Bar, and we were walking home to our Airbnb that we're staying in. And there was this group of guys on a scooter. Wait, you're awful at storytelling. Okay, tell it. Okay. So we're uh, walking home from the bar. And we see this gorgeous, delicious hot dog and churro stand. So all of us get a hot dog. A box of or like a, a bag, like of, churros. bag of churros and a churro cream filled donut. Okay, and we're walking, minding our own business. Four British men on lime scooters pull up and they try to get our churros, and they're so aggressive. They were, I thought that they were gonna actually, and I thought us. they were gonna mug us. <laughs> well, they keep they kept saying, Give us our give us your churros, give us your churros. I wouldn't give them my churro, and then. One does a drive-by and rips off half of my churro and my cream splooges out and all this delicious vanilla cream that was in my churro is gone. So, and I just kept saying, I just kept looking at them saying, can you please leave us alone? No, she literally looked at me and was like, please leave us alone. 
And they, I was so scared. they kept saying, they kept saying, I just know one of y'all is gay. <laughs> And you're like, yeah, and so it, what? They, weren't, they weren't saying it to me. <laughs> we got home so late, woke up so tired, but we needed to get going and we needed food. So we just came to this little market. I got an acai bowl, it's so good. I think that was the best acai bowl I've ever had in my life. Really? You just inhaled it. It's all over your face. I took my camera out because I wanted to show you guys this little place we're eating. Like the bowls and stuff even remind me of the one hotel. Oh my god. Is it good? It's the it's on the bottom of your lip. It's a snack for later. <laughs> so delicious. Hey, Lululemon crossbody boy. <laughs> yeah, I just figured it out. My camera was in the wrong setting for that whole story. We have to retell it. No, we're not going to retell it. We'll just leave it in and blurry. <laughs> Today is our last full day. In Barcelona. In Barcelona, then we have a half day tomorrow. Tonight, we're going to a beach club. Yep. It's called Opium. Which yeah. Which is quite scary because all the guys next to me were doing coke. In Rasmataz, so in a, a, a club called you Opium. Need to chew your food. So Apparently, a, here there's like one of the biggest Zaras. Is this where Zara's headquarters uh -huh. is? This is where it started. Oh, this is where it started? Mm -hmm. Yeah, so we're about to go to Zara and I'm so excited. Even though I have no room in my luggage and I don't need to be buying anything, I'm just gonna look. And then we're gonna. I'll probably end up buying stuff, knowing me. Uh, but I'm going to, we're going to Louis Vuitton so I can get my duffel bag. Yeah, and then we're gonna go look at a few more stores here because the designer stuff here is significantly cheaper than in the States. So that's what's up. I just wanted to say hi to the vlog and good morning and. Bonjour, merci, a oui, oui. We just went to the biggest Zara and I actually contained myself. I only got three things. Zara, if you guys can see inside. I wasn't filming because my hands were so full, but three stories. And they have the biggest baby section. If I had a kid, I would have just done some damage in there. The kid clothes at Zara, I feel like are so, so cute. Already on Emily, they were in the dressing room. I think we're gonna do a little more shopping around here. Right? Just laid the house down boots, mama. <laughs> Walking to dinner, where we walked over towards the water. This is a cute little area, and we're gonna go to dinner. Matt's taking us to one of his favorite places, he said, and then a few bars after. So we're gonna bring you along. We're eating dinner at nine o'clock. Apparently, that's like what they do here. They eat late and they stay out. The bars open at one, and they close at like six a.m. Pop and pants from Zara and my jackets from Zara. I think that these things were all in my Zara haul. the Europe vlog to end in my living room, but here we are. Things got crazy in Europe, and so I wasn't even gonna post the vlog, but then I went MIA on social media, and I just wanted to kind of post the little montage clips that I got um, and address the situation here. So basically, if you hadn't already guessed or didn't know, whatever, it's not that big of a deal, but I kind of wanted to just come on here and explain. My phone got stolen on the night of my birthday. We were in Barcelona at a nightclub called Opium, and my phone got jacked from me. So I was very upset about it. It was my birthday night. Um, it was like four in the morning. Like they go out really late there. I never knew that about Europe. Like they eat really late and they go out really late. Um, so we went out for a birthday dinner. We, we started the trip in Paris, which you guys saw. Then we went to Spain um, and we were there for three days. And that's when we celebrated my birthday. We went out to dinner. You guys saw the clips. We were at the club and then around like 3.30, 
that night or that morning, um, someone took my phone and then we realized that my phone was missing, started freaking out, looking all around the bar. Um, everyone had one too many drinks, I think, and we just lost it. I lost it. Um, I was upset. I was just like sad. I felt like violated. I feel like when you get things taken from you, it's, it's not even like about the, oh, I'm not gonna have my phone for social media or, oh, the money. It's just like you feel violated. Like my work and my whole entire life and everything in my life is connected to that phone. And so I just was really upset. Um, ended up going home, going to sleep, and we were gonna go to the Apple store the next morning. But when I woke up, I was like, you know what? I kind of took it as a sign. Like, um, I believe things happen for a reason. I've always been that way. And so I kind of just was like, you know what? I have Emily here. If I need to talk to Dylan and it's an emergency or whatever, I can always text him on Emily's phone. I can get a hold of my parents on Emily's phone and everything will be okay. Like I don't need to get a new phone. Um, so I didn't end up getting a new phone. And so I kind of just went MIA on social media and like YouTube, Instagram, all that TikTok. Um, just stop posting and um, we were out and about all day We went on a cruise like the second week that we were there and so we stopped at a bunch of ports and Took trains into Florence into Rome. We went to um, Naples Positano like a ton of places in Italy. It was really really fun. I had the best time with my family um, And I wasn't like sitting around a ton on my phone anyways. I did have my iPad luckily um, Which I'll get into later in this story that I'm gonna try to make sense because I feel like so many things happened um, I did have my iPad, but for some reason, I don't know what it is with my iPad. Like it's connected to my iCloud, but it wouldn't let me text or like call on my iPad, like FaceTime or anything, even when I was connected to Wi-Fi. So I didn't really have a way to get a hold of anyone. So I would just use Emily's phone to text Dylan and to FaceTime him at night. So other than that, I really wasn't on a screen or using social media at all. Like we took like a two hour train ride into um, Florence one day, an hour train ride into Rome the other day. And I just sat there, I was super present. I got good conversation with family. Like I just felt good i felt good not being like behind a screen and trying my laundry's done it felt really nice for once to like be on a vacation and just be present in the moment and not worrying about like getting content and shooting content yes that is my job and i would have loved to get a ton of europe content for you guys but it was really just a relaxed trip with family my cousins my aunt uncle and emily and we had like the best time and now looking back i I'm not gonna say that I'm glad that my phone got stolen because I'm definitely not, like I still don't even have a phone. I went to the Verizon store yesterday morning and I paid for, um, what do you call it, like insurance on the phone. So they overnighted me one. It should be coming any second now. So I've just been MIA on the internet and it's been just a nice little break. I know sometimes I go on little social media breaks but I still have my phone and like sometimes I'll still go on there and scroll and stuff and this time I really had no screen to look at and it was just nice to be present in the moment and really um, enjoy what I was doing and like the scenery and the people around me. So that's kind of where I was. I was getting a few DMs and stuff from you guys like, where's your Europe content? We're worried about you. Hope you're okay, blah, blah, blah. And I feel like I went a little MIA for maybe a little bit too long and that's was just like my decision. Um, but yeah, that's kind of what happened. I turned 26 in Barcelona. It was really, really fun. My phone got stolen. It's probably something I'll never forget. We were on the beach because the bar is like right on the beach and we were like, <laughs> now looking back, it's so dumb. We were talking to police trying to get my phone back and I'm like, in my head, I'm like, these policemen do not care that my phone's stolen. Like things get pickpocketed and stolen there all the time. So that's kind of what happened. I just wanted to still post the little bit of footage that I had from Paris and the little bit of footage I had from Spain. We ended up after my phone got stolen and I just stopped vlogging because I just wanted to be totally off of screen. Um, I do wish a little bit that I would have taken some vlog clips um, just for the memories, but I will remember them in my head. Like it's just, it was a really fun trip and I'm glad that I did what I did. We ended up getting on a cruise ship. We went through Spain, we went through France, and we went through Italy. And we had some really fun stops and it was really nice. It was my first cruise. I don't know if I'll ever go back on another cruise. I'm not a huge cruise fan because I like to be at places for longer than just a day. Um, but there was a few places that I got to see that I love. I really love Mallorca. It was beautiful. I would have loved to stay there longer. I love Positano. Super crowded and kind of touristy, but it was really beautiful. And I really loved the food in Italy. It was insane. So after the cruise, we got off 
back in Barcelona and then we flew to Portugal <laughs> and then I just felt like we couldn't catch a break. It was like one thing after another kind of. Um, we were on TAP Air Portugal. I think that's the airline that we were on and the workers that day, we didn't know this, but they were on strike. And so um, we got to go on the plane and we flew to Portugal for, we were supposed to be there for like 24 hours. So we were just doing like a little overnight stay. We got a cute Airbnb and we were just gonna explore Portugal. We were near Lisbon and um, then fly home the next day. Well, our luggage never made it on the plane, but they sent us all on the plane. So our luggage got stuck in Barcelona, but then we were in Portugal. So we had no luggage. There was no workers because everyone was on strike, um, not working. And so luckily I didn't know this, but I was like, oh my God, I have an air tag in my luggage, but my phone's stolen, so it's not gonna work. So we spent so much time at the airport trying to find out where our luggage was and like no one could give us any answers. And then we got to the Airbnb, we went with no luggage. We were like, you know what? They're just gonna have to send it to our house in the States. Like we're just gonna have to be without any clothes for, I think it was like 30 hours or something like that. Then I get on my iPad and I'm like, oh my God, the find my thing was lo like locating the luggage. It was attached to my iPad and I was like, yes. So we ended up being able to find the luggage. We went back to the airport early the next morning. Lo I like hunted down the workers and I was like, this is showing that my luggage is in this closet. Like you need to let me in and let me get my stuff. So we ended up getting our luggage, but it's just funny because that's how we ended the trip. I, we like wanted to spend time in Portugal and enjoy and we only got to walk around for a little bit because we were in the airport the whole time trying to locate all of our luggage. Like it was the whole group I was with, everyone lost their luggage because the airline. So lesson learned, put an air tag in your luggage and back it up to all your devices. Lesson learned, I was the only one with an air tag so I'm, everyone that I was with was like, I will never be traveling without an air tag. But it's just funny cause like my phone was stolen and I was the one with the air tag. So um, luckily it was attached to my iPad so that was nice. But anyways, I wanted to get this little video up for you guys. I'm filming this the day that it's going up. I'm gonna go import it, edit it and get it up for you. I had the best time. I'm excited to be home. I really missed home. I miss Dylan, I miss the dogs. I have another trip coming up to the Bahamas in five days with a bunch of girls on a boat, which will be really, really fun. Um, so I'm excited about that, but I'm also excited to spend these next five days just at home, chilling, relaxing. So I hope you enjoyed the little montage short Europe content that I did get. Um, I love you guys and I will see you in the next vlog. Bye y'all.